What's up, Internet? Welcome to The Last Door, Episode 3, Collector's Edition. I'm your incredible host, Steam Town Gamer, and let's begin. So, truth be told, I did play a lot of Episode 3, simply because I found out that... Uh, restart the episode. Is that I take a very long time trying to figure out what to do. This I'm taking essentially four times longer to finish an episode than what previously on The Last Door... After the death of an old friend, Anthony Devitt decides to travel back to his old school. They both are tended on the outskirts of Albertine. In the search, Devitt finds his old teacher, Father Ernest. He also remembers the experiment they all attempted many years back, and which had terrible consequences. The truth is revealed. Father Ernest worships the eye of the bird, a vision resulting in the experiment. from the experiment. He killed many people trying to replicate his, its results. Those who saw the eye back then, he calls the four witnesses. When he discovered, Ernest um, immobilates himself. Finally, Ernest's servants knocks Devitt out and buries him alive. All is darkness. All is cold. It's going to turn down the volume. All is silence. So he woke up, randomly, someone dug him up and moved him there. But who or why? Huh. I forgot about this. Another dream? Oh yeah, this is, this is just heartbreaking. Jeremiah. We must talk. Your mother has, since with your mother deceased, arrangements have been made uh, to arrangements have been made regarding your upbringing. A man of my position and responsibility can't take you in at this time. I can't take the time to look after a young boy. First thing in the morning, you will depart for Scotland. I am sending you to study at Saint Gob's Boarding School in Albertine. You need not bother to write, as I will not have time to read your letters. Keep going. Still no letters for you, Devitt. Please do not persist any further. That, that's just absolutely heartbreaking. Pleased to meet you, my new classmates. And who is that? Oh, that's just Devitt. Pay him no mind, he's a little odd. Interesting. Hello, I'm Anthony, Anthony Beachwood. This is my first term here. I've only just arrived. Hope we can be friends. So that's how those two meet. He brought him out of his shell, essentially. Finding there was someone in his life he could actually depend on. And now he's dead. What's happening? A shiver runs down my spine when I look at what have could have been my eternal deathbed. My head is pounding. I feel so weak and thirsty. If I don't drink water soon, I will faint. Dear Lord, where am I? What's this say? Eyes closed, ears muffled, and voices hushed in the land that loves silence. I'm in the city. Is it Albertine? How could I have escaped? I'll just check this uh, out. Uh, the four witnesses. 
ticket number four. I wonder how this got in my pocket. The ticket to a play called The Four Witnesses. So I believe that at the end of the episode he's supposed to go to the play. I never made it that far. Cheapest potatoes in town. We can ask these guys for help, but they won't help us. So we're just going to go and this way, I guess. This cart is blocking this way. It won't be removed until later on. These are just all helpless. Uh, I'm going to uh, a woman snuffers diffi uh, a woman a young woman suffers difficult breathing. This is so sad. Horse meat for sale. Please, I need water. Get out of here, you drunk. There's a man standing there at the amongst the crowd. Something in his um was it counterance and counterance seems strange to me. Excuse me, sir. Sir. Yeah, we're gonna have to chase him. Ma'am, could you please tell me where I am? You don't know where you're at? Why, this is old Ni um, Nickel. Nickel Street Rookery. A darker, more depressed part. Nether like there was. But that's in London. How could I arrive in the slum? So he's in the slums of um, London. Water. Drinky, drinky. He drinks the foul smelling water and we're gonna head back and he passes out. When he wakes up, uh, it's night time. Must have fainted. It is dangerous to be in old nickel at night. I should make my way as quickly as possible. Make my, make my way out as quickly as possible. So we're gonna go back to where that cart was. Oh, it was here. Everyone's left, it's dark, it's quiet. Oh, another flashback. Head Doctor Wakefield is there is here to see you. Mine here. Show him in, Hans. It's about your patient, is it not? There is no th a trace of him. He has not shown up for the last few sessions. I have been to his house, of course. His landlady assured me that he went on a trip weeks ago and hasn't come back home. He kept the destination to himself. Then it's happening, as I feared. What do you mean? I'm sorry, my dear friend. I thirst thought of you. I thirst thought of this when you described your sessions with Herr Devitt. But I didn't want to upset you without need. I hope that for the. I hope for the best. But now I am afraid of it. My suspicions could come true. There are some things that will have to come. I'll have to verify first, though. I promise uh, that I will contact you as soon as I have learned everything important. Please head, Doctor. It is the utmost, import utmost importance. No one else knows this matter. You have my total discretion. Episode 3, The Four Witnesses. So now the actual episode has officially started. Labyrinth. It's just a labyrinth of streets and... Excuse me, sir. Sir. He's gone. Do you hear them? It's the crows searching for the moans of the weak and dying. They are calling to each other. They have found something. A weird, a weird man. Oh, and how I know that man? Well, tall, well-dressed, red-haired, and a cold look in his eyes. The nightmare of which you speak is all of us. Asleep or awake, it has not some time. Okay. Could you help me? 
Yes, last one. I can give you direction. I have the gifted sight. I haven't... I don't believe in fortune telling. I don't believe in fortune telling. On second thought, I'm willing to give it if it will help. I don't have a penny though. She will, uh, she'll do all our fortune without actually... The puppet threads hanging from a immersed hands of dust. Coverage upon a simple point. Your mind where memories, oblivions and shadows cluster as one of your friend or foe, your home or your prison. Oh. The mask empty. I stare at you in a voiceless mouth calls you, its lips twist and snarl, which with which it has seen, what is to still be seen, I think it's stranger, I think it's a stranger's face, but it is your own, the scream, it begs to escape, mute, it shrieks your lost name, sharp, painful and burning, its voice is one you know. I don't understand. What does this all mean? I can't unpick these. Uns. The threads you have woven in your destiny are too tight, child. But you will... You will. Oh yes. You will. It's not for me to say. It's for you to discover. Remember that in the fog we can only see what's closest to us. The bird remains in a distance. If you wish to leave, you must follow the path of the bird. No more direction I can give. I must go. We're going to take the lamp. We're going to follow the red man with the beard. Excuse me, sir. Sir. S sir. He's gone in here, but it's too dark to see. We need a lantern, but the lantern is empty and not lit. So we have to light that bitch. Hmm. This way? Yes, this way. Boarded up window of a rundown house. Dust smears the glass, preventing me from seeing the interior. need this bottle. This is a distillery, so we can make oil or anything really. That's the door he went into. Sewer. Collect the oil that's running out. Oily water, I should say. We need to filter it out. Into the secret room. Okay, so we got the water out. Lamp. So now the lamp is filled with oil. We just have to light it. Now, if you recall, the gypsy had a fire. So we're going to use the fire to start the lamp. And now we'll be able to go into that house and into the sewers. And I don't believe there's anything to, that we need to go uh, get from the sewers.
one lit lamp, ladies and gentlemen. We can go into this house. Into the house. Boy, it's dark in here. Go into this room. Now I, my eyes focus in the gloom, I can see that the person sitting on the bed is an elderly woman. She's just dressed as uh, uh, dressed up as a young girl for some reason. Let me explain myself. No, I don't want to dance anymore. It's enough for today. I want my lemonade. I want to play. Who are you? Actually, madame, I'm afraid I've never met you before. I don't know who you are. And I don't rec you don't recognize me? No, I don't. I'm sorry. Of course. I was afraid that you wouldn't recognize me. You must have seen the postage, uh, posters of my performances. They're simply everywhere and quite wonderful. You must have seen them. Don't you think that they're, they're beautiful? I want to get you out of this place. I want to get out of this place. Weird man. Hide and seek. Oh, I do love games. I go to the fog when I want to get away. Daddy won't find me there. You see, in the fog, there are no faces. Weird man. No, father. I've been practicing the latest uh, rep uh, rep repertoire as you ordered. I have behaved around very well today, haven't I? Let's play. Stand next to the fireplace and count to three. One, two, three. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? Oh, she's a young girl again. That's sweet. One, two, three. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? And I think that's her father playing the piano. One, two, three. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? Oh, it's getting creepy. One, two, three. What time is it, Mr. Wolf? Oh, fuck. She killed her father. Because her father was would, kept making her dance. She killed him. Fuck. One more song. And she was standing right next to me. What in blazes just happened? My head is pounding. And where did she go? Porcelain mask. Look underneath a photograph. Yeah, no, it's a little Catalee show. There is a girl lit up by the spotlight on a musical hall, singing to live piano. The little Catalee show. I'm exhausted. My father made me rehearse today for eight hours. By the end, the music waved the, his trembling hands. By the end, the music waved the, with his trembling hands. It's still a long time for the day of the show, but he insists that everything must be perfect. One more song, he said over and over. Father got really mad at me when I started to shout. Then, after many hours of rehearsal, I said that I wanted to go out and play a little in the street. More and more, he is obsessed with rehearsing, with concerts and performance. April 3rd. I am not one of the one I'm I am not the one who earns the money to feed us. I am not the one the people come from all over to see and admire. Is my name not the one printed on all the posters? My name, the dolls for sale at the theatre entrance? They have my likeness, my dress, my beautiful hair. I should be the one who makes the decisions. April 21st, one more song, yes, one more, a last song for you, Papa. I think that's when she killed him. April 21st, an old wardrobe is locked. I realised that I forgot something downstairs. bottle of gin. 
Is it in the pocket? Yes, they're in one of these pockets. Pair of gloves. Take the pair of gloves. metal doorknob. That, you think it's going to that wardrobe? It doesn't. The wardrobe requires a key. The doorknob is for something else. Let's go up. Piano and a bird cage with a single long black feather inside. I don't think that cage was for a bird. I think the father put Catali in this cage and made her sing like a bird. Piano is so dusty, it hasn't been played in years. I wonder if it still works. Something is preventing the, one of the keys from depressing. The key was hidden under the, um, well, the key. The lyrics for a title and song, the last song for you. The verses are scrawled so poorly I can barely make them legible. <laughs> the doorknob is missing. Not anymore. <laughs> I hear laughter. <laughs> Look, I can only see part of the outdoors. Look, a laughter coming from behind the curtains. I can faintly see an outline of a figure on the other side. Hello. <laughs> it's a mannequin. A porcelain doll with a lifelike um, proportions. The face has been removed, leaving her featureless. But the wick shines brightly as though if it, if it was human hair. The record is scratched. It's repeating on loop. Let's just fix it. <laughs> so it turns out that um, the record was actually of someone crying, not laughing. It was sounded like laughing because it was on a loop. Beautiful painting of a young lady with a peaceful expression. She looks like one of Raphael's angels. No, no, no. I didn't pray enough. I have not written faithfully. Every last note is scrawled into me. Middle C. I'm not going to measure. I'm not going to read all them. Okay. What, what, what do you think you, you are? Are you behind? Are you blind, man? Can't you see that I'm creating the angel's voice? The work, C to A, and Octavia higher than A. Fragile voice flutters around the styrofoam. No, 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 no. Hands shallow. You laugh, laugh at you. I lost again. Are you all right, sir? My inspiration, too, is, quite, is lost, quite lost, in the fog and the notes moan. Who is she? Oh... Beautiful Daphne, the best soloist that a composer could have had, the voice of an angel. What made my music possible? She would stand there by the window. The wind caressed her cheeks. It danced in the golden hair. Uh, it, it danced in her golden hair. Her dress glowed like amber in the dust sun. What happened to her? She was very delicate, like a flower in the desert, like a petal in a storm. The sickness, it just swept her away. Her voice, my God, her voice, it came from heaven. She was the angel of my music. Weird man. Sometimes I find this man too, among my notes. I feel him close to me at all times. That doesn't fucking help. Please, I need to get out of this place. You asked me for words, but words are betrayers. They're dirty. Music, just music remains. Beautiful, 
but a prisoner inside of all of us. We sent it's we set we must set it free. I can't help you now. Not until my work is finished. My work is important to my inspiration. I must go. We get this uh, paper bound scroll. Let's take the paper bound scroll. There's a mannequin standing by the window. Looks like this Duffin uh, was his muse, obviously. I don't know if they were dating. They probably were. Do I need to go in there? We need to go up there and we need to use the scroll on there. I uh, blow through the roll and maybe I could change to make the feather fly. And now we have the big black feather. And we also have the small key to the wardrobe. And now we have the dress. An elegant amber dress inside. tree covered, uh, judging by the resin oozing from the surface of the tree trunk, it appears to have been recently chopped down. So if you take the feather and apply it with the resin, I managed to coat the feather with resin, we make a somewhat brush, we combine it with the mask, and now we've got a fixed mask. This is a mausoleum. The door is locked, I can't move it. I think this is where this Duffin is buried. up. So now that we've got everything, the wig, the dress and the mask. No, we don't need to go in there. He moves very slowly in the dark. Dress. Wig. Yes, that's right. Just one more thing to make, make it look like the woman in the painting, and yes. Daphine, you're back. You are my fragment of my metallotic mind. Are you a ghost of my darling, uh, dying music? No, it doesn't matter because you are with me once again. And now I know exactly how to compose my masterpiece. Please take my violin. Now that I have completed my work, I no longer have use of it. It needs it needs to be with her. Go to the mausoleum and place this violin, uh, violin where her heart lies. The angel of my music will guide me here. Take the key to the mausole mausoleum, my friend. I must go. Black key. And a violin. You know, I always wanted to play the violin when I was uh, younger. When I was a kid, really, I wanted to play the violin. I always thought it was such an interesting instrument. But, you know, we ended up getting a uh, Nintendo 64, so I was pretty stoked about that, too. Black key. Someone's taken the coffin. The sarcophagus is broken. Where on earth is the coffin? What could have done this? A trail of soil leads from the sarcophagus to this hole where the coffin was transported through here.
Yeah, it's locked. Okay, I'm not going to click it anymore. What was that? Maybe I can see something if I look through a keyhole. Huh? Darkness, nothing more than... Can we use the lamp? Nope. Try again. Oh, shit! I knew that was coming, but that still scared the fuck out of me. With the help of River, the Nibid Daphine hid from the sun in a shadow mist. She changed her skin for strong bark. Her heart was forever ca um, concealed. Her dance frozen in rustle of the sound of leaves. Okay. With the help of the river, the Nibid Daphine, that's the girl who died that Violinus was um, making his song over, hid from the sun in the shadowy mist. I think that means that her body was removed, maybe buried. Her skin changed from strong, uh, for strong bark, so her heart was forever concealed. Her dance frozen in the hustle of a thousand leaves. Books in unspoken dead, lang uh, dead languages. Hello, good sir. I beg your pardon, sir, if I've startled you. What are you doing here in the dark? Why I'm reading these marvelous books. In the dark, how can you see the words without any light? That's the only way to see them, really. That's it. If you want to see the words on other sides of the page, the words from the shadows. Shadows always hides from the light. You know they can only read the darkness. Are you the owner of this bookshop? Oh, goodness, no. The bookshop doesn't belong to anyone, not since I found it here. I just, I'm just a guest. An explorer of these ancient tomes. Man of the weird, a weird appearance. Have you seen a man pass through this way? His hair, red, uh, his hair, I'm sorry, his red head, tall and wears a cape. Oh yes, I know him, you speak. I see him from time to time, pursuing the books from... He picked one off the shelf and glanced at it, then he put it back. He and, he and I never spoke, though. Why do you ask? I guess I, he's been calling me, guiding me somehow. I guess he did tell me which one the man pursued. Let me think. If I recall, he was looking for uh, at unexplored places of the Empire. An excellent tome. Very revealing. Very rare. This bookshop is very fortunate to have a copy in its collection. I'm not sure where it is now, but I'm sure it can't be far. Excuse the interruption. The book is... We've got to find the book of unexplored locations. I hear a woman's voice in the distance. It sounds as if she's singing a lullaby. So, I played this game before, right? Not completely. And now that I'm playing it again, I'm now realising what's going on. Book of Lies on the floor. Uh, the book li a book lies on the floor. It reads, Unexplored places of the Empire has been marked. Also known as uh, a unique bay of Keist of Belawish near the jungles of Belina. It is surrounded by tall creep mountains, usually covered in mist by the waters of the bay. Very rare. way down. On the ground lies the song of Zila, the page which opens it is torn out. The remaining fragment identifies the song titled In Search for Sumberg. Sumberg is the name of that bird. There's something caught in the branches that appears to be a page from the book below. 
So this tree, this tree is Dampton or Delilah or whatever her name is. This is the woman who died. She has turned into a tree. That's what those pages were referring to. She has traded her skin for bark and her um, and it is hidden behind a thousand leaves. So we need to put the violin in her heart. We're in the sewers now. I'm going to read these just in case you guys are complaining. There's a note uh, par uh, partially covered mother. I mustn't fall asleep. I hear them crawling. I hear them gathering. Rats. Too many of them. They know where I am. They know I'm here. I mustn't fall asleep. They'll stalk me. Come closer and closer. I can see their red, uh, blood red eyes glimmering in the darkness. I mustn't fall asleep. A pile of ragged clothes, coked in mud and full of holes. I'm pretty sure that those people fell, in, uh, fell asleep. So that's she's singing. Damphony, um Delilah or whatever her name is, she is she's singing. She's the tree. We placed the violin into this crack. Heels up. The violin disappeared amongst the roots as if I swallowed up by the tree, uh, tree trunks expanding. A noise came from above. The tree is alive once again. The tree was dead before, it's not anymore now. So we're actually just going to leave the sewer. It's quicker to just keep going through the sewer. Don't go back up. Catacombs. Uh, don't fall asleep. So I'm guessing that uh, rats. I'm guessing that people were sleeping in the sewers. Can't go that way because the fog. A piece up. Uh, the paper sheet captured the branches now within my reach. One page of poem. Okay. First into the wind they sought for the king, they but they were lost by the birds. They were they wept in suffering and flew to the sea, compelled by the, a need for. When they found their silence, their quest is was complete. So you need to look for. We need to listen for the sounds of the wind, uh, the birds, the sea, and silence. Oh, hello, my good man. So this is where I got up to. I never figured it out, but I did look it up online. So uh, I wouldn't be still stumbling around this episode. So we have to turn up the volume and we have to listen for the wind, the birds, the sea and the silence. And they also move around so we have to listen for the sea or the wind. This is the wind. If you hit the wrong one you end up going back. Uh, the birds, we need to listen to, to the sound of the birds. is that? That's the birds. We need the uh, sea. We need to find the sea. The sea. And now we need silence. So if I were to click on there, that would be a bad idea. This is all unknown um, territory, to me, uh, territory for me. I've never been this far. This is silent. Achievement unlocked the short, the short path. I have no idea where to go now. I just have to go this way, I guess. He's just trying to find his way out of the slums of London. 
Oh, there he goes there. Excuse me, sir. 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 Oh. Your ticket, please. Ticket. Thank you. Please come in. Oh, the four witnesses, and one of them's dead, and he's, and one of the statues is destroyed. Is that symbolic? Does that mean the other three are still alive? And that red-headed guy, is he one of the four witnesses? Because he says that Devitt doesn't really remember much about his old high school. British. Oh, okay, who's this? Hello, Jeremiah. I knew you would find us eventually. Welcome to our humble performance. You were there. You were part of the group. You don't remember my name, do you? I'm Alexandria. Oh, Alexander. What is this all about? What do you want from me? From you? Nothing, dear Jeremiah. Uh, Jeremiah. It is you who came here searching for answers. It is the same as when you joined our group. We each came with our own reasons. Do you remember yours? True philosophy? Indeed, it was our thirst for knowledge that drew us together. One, no one waits for us out there. Dear Jeremiah, there is no one who will take care of us when our hour comes. We had been alone until now. How did I end up in London after being buried in the boarding school? The birds protect us. It is by his design what we should meet, uh, that we should meet again. But we are not the ones who take shelter beneath its wings. His influence and power is ever expanding and ever reaching. Do you feel him? Do you not feel him um, beckoning? I only want to wake from this nightmare. This is no nightmare, it is a show, a performance. The truth we seek lies beyond that curtain. Now, we have crossed the point of no return. The lights are on. The stage is set. Soon, and soon you shall meet the actors. Welcome. Oh, fuck. This belongs to you. He started his own cult. The last door. Oh wow, that was uh, that was pretty intense. I was not expecting that whatsoever. Dearest head, Doctor Whitefield, if you are reading this, then you have followed my instructions to arrive at the agreed upon address. Good. I apologize that I could not accompany you immediately. My own investigations have demanded a certain unanticipated degree of attention. I have determined that your patient, Devitt, is in serious trouble. I will contact you with more information. Post haste. In the meantime, discretion is one of the utmost importance. Your friend, Jonathan Kaufman. Kaufman. Achievement unlocked. The truth behind the curtain. No, wait. Two people are dead. The priest and... Um, that means we found everyone. 
the adventure continues. So we lost um, the guy who hung himself. There was the priest. There was Devitt, and then there was that guy there. Main menu. So uh, yeah, extras. What's extras? The morgue. I've done this before. Main menu. I've done this before. Um, okay, that's what that's what the collector's edition is. It's the extras. So yeah, that was a interesting experience. I can't wait to play more, and we're gonna finish it um, relatively soon. So uh, yeah, I'm Steamtown Gamer. Like and subscribe and share if you haven't already, and I'll catch you later.